Everyone, I'd like you to meet my best friend. In a wonderful turn of events, Taylor has joined us to teach us herself. <laughs> Okay, so I think this is the first time I've put makeup on my face in like two months and I even curled my hair. Welcome back. Hi, it's been a while again. Last thing I posted was like over a month ago probably, but it inspired me for this video and I'm so excited because I finally have time to sit down and make videos. I literally have all the time in the world now because I just graduated literally two days ago, technically. So what happened was I posted a guitar tutorial last time and it happened that a week ago, Taylor Swift came out with the City of Lover concert. And so a lot of people watched it and wanted to know how to play Cornelia Street because she played it acoustically. And so I went and found my video, which is funny because up until I completely watched the live version, I realized I was playing the wrong chord progression, but it sounds the same. So you can still learn Cornelia Street the way that I taught it in my last video, but comment down below if you want me to teach you the live version from the Paris concert and I can do that because it is a little bit different, but it sounds pretty similar. I got some comments that people want to learn some other Taylor Swift songs, so I am going to be teaching Death by a Thousand Cuts, which she also plays live in the concert in Paris. And so the past week I've been watching it religiously, analyzing, and it's so hard because the camera will cut away from her hands and I can't see what she's doing. But this is just what I came up with by looking at the chords, looking at her playing it. But let's get into it. Just like Cornelia Street, she has capo on the fourth fret and I gained that from the pictures that I found of her playing it live in the video. Usually I can just see the chords that she's playing in the video. I tried my hardest to figure out what they were because sometimes Taylor has her fingers all close together and I can't tell what string she's on. Basically, there's a lot of variation in this song. There's not just four chords for the whole song. And she does some picking at some points, but you could just strum when she she does that you just go with your skill level I guess and then you progressively get better at it essentially you've got this chord progression that there's a switch it like switches off so we got C and then we have this chord called C over B that looks like this and then on the first rotation you're gonna do A minor or you can do A minor 7 um, take off the, the third finger and then you're gonna go to a chord called G sus, where you basically just like do a little jump. So your first finger is gonna stay on the same string basically the entire time. And then your third finger from the A minor is gonna jump up all the way to the sixth string on the third fret, and you're gonna take off your middle finger. So it's gonna look like this. So then you're gonna play that. And it just kind of like unifies all the chords with the same sound. That's the first round. And then the second round, you're gonna go C, and then you're gonna go C over B again. And then instead of A minor, you're gonna do F. It's, I think it's called F7 or F8. 
F sus maybe? I don't know. So you go from A minor to this chord and you basically, your, your first finger is barring the first and second strings on the first fret and then your third finger is gonna go on the fourth string third fret like that. And that's gonna sound like this. And then from F, you're gonna go back up to G sus. Basically, from the first to the second round, you're going to just switch A minor 7 and F sus 7. And so th at the beginning, she kind of does a little picking thing, so that's going to look like this, like... So that's kind of the intro. Intro and then into the chorus. This song doesn't really have an actual structure. It just kind of like goes all the way through. Anyways, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the top two strings with your pick, like one, two. So like on the C chord, you're gonna do five, four. Whatever the top two strings are that your fingers are on is what you're gonna hit with your pick. So you go one, two, strong. And then you go to the next chord. And then you're gonna go to A minor. And on the last chord, you're gonna go one, two, strum, up, up, down, to transition you back into the next one. So one, two, down, up, up, down, up, up. So those like strumming patterns, you just have to keep saying to yourself and keep playing them over and over again, and eventually you will get it, I promise you. You're just gonna do that again for the same, the second part, the same thing, so. around with it if you think some other like strumming pattern sounds better like go for it if you think it sounds good go with it and then she starts singing if you've heard the song the beginning is a bunch of voices that are like my 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 you don't have to sing that part or like play that part she does in the tiny desk concert but she didn't in the live concert so you can just kind of skip that part of the intro and go right into the verse like but the funny thing is she starts with the chorus but the chorus has two parts it's very complicated this intro part is basically just the first part of the chorus. The second part of the chorus is a little bit easier because she starts to strum and she doesn't do all the weird finger things. Sing You're gonna do that part that we learned I think like four times and then it hits to the like part of the chorus where it's like um it's okay but it's not so on the word not that's when you're gonna go into the next part that I'm gonna teach you which is just uh, the way that she strums is very like up and down like you're gonna do you do that really big strumming part just for that part it's okay when it's not i'm trying to find a better way to explain this but you want to hit that down strum really hard on that part so it's gonna be c g sus and then you're gonna do f sus that we learned earlier and then back to g so that strumming part is a little bit easier to remember because c g sus f Jesus. So then it, I'm just gonna play it and sing it so that you can see. <laughs> it's okay when it's not up, up, down. So it's down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. I really hope this is making sense to you. It was hard to learn it myself, so I can imagine it's hard for you to learn it through me. But um, if you have any questions, you can just DM me on Instagram and I will help you. Help a fellow guitar learner. So after that part, and then it goes into the verse. So the chords are the same as the first part of the chorus that we learned right at the beginning the intro and everything but instead of the picking you're just gonna strum it so you're gonna go just to kill my time I take the long way home I ask the traffic lights if you think alright they say I don't know and so it's the same thing it's just down up up down up up down 
And I'll make sure that I'm putting the chords in the corner so that you know which chords go to which part. And I'll put it in the description box too to reference for each part. Maybe that will help you. Okay, so then as she goes from verse back into that chorus one, she does a little like strumming thing right at the end. So she goes, uh, when the story is over, on that last G, you're just gonna down strum. And then you're gonna stop because then it goes back into the like little picky part of the chorus. So then you do chorus one, chorus two again. And this is where it gets fun because we all know that this bridge is one of the seven wonders of the world. Oh my god, it's so good. This is where she really just lets it go and just strums her little heart out. What's fun is that she makes it sound a lot more complicated because while she's playing each chord, she is doing this thing called hammering on and pulling off of the chords with her fingers. Basically, this is an example of what a hammer on looks like. So once you strum it, you strum it, and then you like press your finger on so it makes, it makes it sound fancy. So she does that with her first finger and her middle finger. And it's, this is something that takes a lot of practice because it took me forever, but it makes it sound so cool. So going into the bridge, she ends with death by a thousand cuts. And she, then she does the down strum thing again. So that's when she like goes at it. The way that I play that part is you can use your middle finger on the, the C. So every time you do a down strum, you take it off and hammer it back on. Like that. That might be a little hard, but maybe you can learn by just like watching. Because I feel like people learn best by imitation, and I think that's how I learn guitar. Because you can give me a piece of paper with chords, and it won't sound as good as it could sound, like, the way that they play it. So she kind of changes up the strumming throughout that bridge. She starts off just like... Where she talks about the paper cut stain stains paper paper yeah paper cut stain stings from my paper thin plans that's part she does like a like a palm mute and a down strum paper cut stains from my paper thin plans and then she builds it up for the like the cutout she loves a good cutout to like emphasize the lines paper cut stains from my paper thin plans. When she hits plans, she goes to the C for the next part and like does a really hard down strum. And then she sings that part where it's like my time, my one, my spirit, my trust. And then when she hits trust, she goes back into the really harsh strumming. So she goes my time, my one, my spirit, my trust. At the very, very end. She says, I'll be all right, it's just a thousand cuts, is where she gets quieter and she plays a like softer. She like brings it down from that, that really high place that she got to. I'll be all right, it's just a thousand cuts. So I'm currently editing this and I just realized that I forgot that she goes into the chorus one more time before she goes into the ending. So add chorus here. <laughs> so then she goes back into the intro part, classic Taylor Swift style, where she repeats first line of the first verse of the song at the very end. So this part is a little tricky just because you go from like the timing. I take a long way home. As the traffic lights up, it'll be alright. They say I. 
that's pretty much it. I hope this taught it to you because it's not easy to learn the strumming for this song. Rhythm is almost harder than technique sometimes. So let me know if you want to hear any of the other songs from Lover acoustically. I know she hasn't played all of them yet. We were blessed to hear Cornelia Street and Death by a Thousand Cuts on the guitar. I did the best that I could. If this isn't right, then I'm sorry, but this is just the way that I play it. If you've made it this far into the video, thanks for watching. I promise that I'm going to be more consistent now that I'm out of college. Have nothing more to do besides look for a job. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video, whatever that's gonna be. Uh, yeah, so I never know how to end my videos and it's very obvious. <sighs> Bye.